Hi, I'm Chef Boo. Today I'm gonna be doing a three course meal using high grade pineapple rosin. We're gonna start off with our appetizer which is a jalapeno popper shrimp and a pineapple habanero dipping sauce. So let's get started. We are gonna start off with our sauce and we're gonna just use one full habanero and we're gonna put this all in the blender. And we're gonna go ahead and pop that habanero in there, seeds and all. Then we're gonna use one can of crushed pineapple with the juice. We're gonna have about a teaspoon of chili powder. And about a fourth of a cup of brown sugar. And let's give that a blend. And that is our pineapple habanero sauce. And we're also going to put the high grade pineapple rosin inside. About five to 10 milligrams. There we go. Give it a good mix and you have your dipping sauce ready. You can go ahead and put that to the side, refrigerate, and cover with plastic wrap. Now we're gonna go ahead and start our jalapeno popper shrimp. And we're gonna go ahead and slide our knife along the back of the shrimp, not all the way through, just enough to open it up and lay flat. We are going to go ahead and cut a piece of cream cheese to put in the center. So now that we have our shrimp butterflied, we are going to put a little sliver of cream cheese right there, dab in the middle, and form it, and try to close it up some. So you're gonna get your shrimp and your slice of bacon, and you're gonna wrap it nice and tightly all the way around and secure it with a couple toothpicks, like so. Now we're going to place these in our air fryer at 350 for about 10 minutes. So now we're gonna go ahead and start with our entree. It's going to be a pineapple fried rice using the high grade pineapple rosin. These are the ingredients that you're going to need, either a wok or a nice flat griddle or large pan. You're gonna need some day old rice, that's always best, nice and cold. Some eggs, mixed vegetables, some diced pineapples, some red pepper, some red onion, garlic, and your seasoning of choice. Some of the sauces that I'll be using is some sesame seed oil, soy sauce, sriracha, and fish sauce. Let's get started. So we're gonna go ahead and start out with a little bit of avocado oil. We're gonna go ahead and also put a little bit of sesame oil, and that's for that scent and that flavor to come through for the rice. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with our rice. And we're gonna put some onion. some red peppers, and we want about a half, to a third to a half of a cup of each, depending on how much rice you need. This is about two cups of rice. And um, we're gonna go ahead and start drying out that pineapple as well, getting some of that water out of there and juice. And we can go ahead and scramble one of our eggs in this other corner. there. Now let's give it a good mix. You want to separate your kernels of rice and just fry it up a bit. 
tossing it in the oil, making sure every kernel gets coated. And now we can go ahead and add our egg to our rice. While that's cooking up, we can go ahead and add our sauces. So we've already added a little sesame oil. Let's go ahead and add some soy sauce. That's going to be our salt. And giving it some color. A little fish sauce. Just about maybe not even a half of a teaspoon in about your preference. I like mine's kind of spicy, but we're going to add about a tablespoon of sriracha. And here I have some of my Cajun seasoning. We're going to add a couple pinches of that. This is no salt as well, so not too salty. Then we're going to give it a good mix again, flipping it over and not so much stirring it. You don't want it to be mushy. You want to get it nice and firm, mixing everything together. Once that pineapple is nice and caramelized, you can go ahead and add that in as well. This is one of my favorite vegetarian dishes to make. You can always add meat in it as you wish. Shrimp, chicken, steak. Then once everything is nice and caramelized, you can go ahead and add in your green onion. And at this point you want to taste for salt, if it needs salt or anything else. It's perfect. So let's go ahead and put this to the side and get ready to sear our salmon next. So now we're going to go ahead and finish up our entree and we're going to do our seared salmon. You need you a cast iron skillet and you're going to need some Old Bay, some honey, your salmon fillets and some avocado oil. So go ahead and get your pan nice and scorching hot and coat it with oil. While that's warming up, we're going to go ahead and add in our Old Bay and some honey. And we're going to make this into a paste to put on our salmon. So give that a good mix. Okay. And we're going to get our salmon fillets and coat them evenly all around. Once you have evenly coated that, you want to get it into your hot pan and you want to hear that sizzle. Perfect. So now let's go ahead and put our pineapple bowls together. We're going to put the fried rice on the bottom and then we're going to have our seared salmon right here on top along with our sauteed veggies. You can use whatever sauteed veggies you like. I'm using zucchini. So once you have your salmon nice and brown on both sides, you're ready to go ahead and plate it. So now we're going to prepare our dessert, which is going to be some pineapple dough whip. Also using that pineapple rosin. What you're going to need is about two to three cups of vanilla bean ice cream, some frozen pineapple chunks, some pineapple juice, a little bit of ice and your blender. So let's go ahead and add in our ice cream. Okay. 
Then we can go ahead and add in our pineapple. Okay. Some ice. And a little bit of pineapple. This is pineapple coconut. Not too much. You want it to be like an ice cream texture. And go ahead and blend the milkshake cream option. It completely mixed. You want to go ahead and transfer to your piping bag. We're going to put this in the freezer to get a little bit more firm. So now that our ice cream set, I went ahead and scooped it into our dessert bowls. And we're going to go ahead and infuse with that pineapple rosin about... This is dessert, so we'll end it nicely, about 10 to 15 milligrams each. And there you have our high-grade pineapple Dole Whip using the pineapple high-grade rosin. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and do our high-grade cocktail. This is going to be a pina colada, frozen style. So you're going to need some ice, of course, some frozen pineapple, some coconut water, pineapple juice, I have pineapple coconut, and some of this uh, cream of coconut squeeze. And we're of course gonna be using the high grade pineapple rosin. So let's get started. Go ahead and start with your ice. And then we can go ahead and throw our pineapple in there. Okay. We're going to do about a half a cup of coconut water. And about a half a cup of the pineapple juice. And you want to give about three or four tablespoons of the cream of coconut. Make sure you shake it really well. And we'll add about 10 15 milligrams of the pineapple rosin. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get our glass, and we're going to put a little of the cream of coconut in the inside, as well as some of our Marciano cherry juice. And then go ahead and put in your pina colada. And we're going to top with some whipped cream. Shit. And of course, what would it be without a cherry on top? And there you have your high grade pineapple rosin pina colada. We have here our habanero pineapple dipping sauce for our shrimp, our appetizer. And we have our fried rice here. This is our entree with our seared salmon and veggies. And then we also have um, for dessert, our pineapple dole whips and to drink a nice pina colada. And we're gonna go ahead and infuse the rice. Then this sauce has already been um, infused. So we'll just infuse our drinks. And our ice cream has already been infused as well. So there you go. All together, that's about 100 milligrams all together for our three-course high-grade meal.